Hey guys, it's me, Sophia. So, I know, I haven't posted in over a month, but I'm deciding to come back and try again. So, I'm not gonna choose this video as a ranting one, so I'm gonna save that for another time. But today, I have part one of my back to school sp supplies video. So, first I have my Fajal Raven Kankin. Um, this is going to be my school backpack. I'm actually going into freshman year this year, so hopefully it'll be good to me. I know that a lot of other people have been using this backpack and I really wanted to try it out for myself. So the next thing I have is this Broke Artist t-shirt I got from Loopsana and it is a really amazing shirt. I mean, it's so soft and comfy and it's an amazing, like, price. I think it was $9 and I got it on sale because there was like some coupon thing, but it was amazing. So the next thing I have is these Prismacolor Premier colored pencils that I got when I was in sixth grade, so a few years ago now. I actually got them as a present for my birthday from one of my best friends and I'm not a big pencil person, I mean colored pencil at least, but I wanted to start using them for high school just in case I need to do some like diagrams and stuff. The next thing I have is the Glossier lip gloss and a little sticker set that came with it. I actually just got this in the mail yesterday. It is an amazing product and I'm actually wearing it right now. So the stickers came as a little extra thing with the order that I got and right now I actually have the lip balm coming in soon. Next, I have my Raimi Nightingale book by Kate DiCamillo, and I just started reading this like three days ago, and I'm already on chapter 25, and I've only read it one day out of the three days that it's been, and it's, it's a short book. The chapters are like two to three pages, but it's amazing, especially because I'm not a big reader. Next, I have my Micron pens, and I got these over a year ago, probably maybe a little bit less, but um, they're really adorable and I love them to death. And I use them for drawings, for line art, but I really wanna start using them for writing in school. Next is my bullet journal. This one is for 2018, so I've already been using it since April. Um, I like to decorate the cover, as you can see with stickers. And I'm just gonna flip through it a bit so you guys can see. I have like reminders, this event page, and the future log is my favorite page in the whole book. And here's a bit more. I really love it because bullet journaling is something that I really want to do more often and I've kind of been slacking off, especially in July. As you can see, there was no video and this is something that really helps me stay on track. But um, yeah, it's really amazing. You guys should try bullet journaling if you haven't already. Next, I have my Mixed Media Canson XL sketchbook. Now I have this in size like seven by 10 and I think it's a great size because it's something that um, it's usable. You can actually keep it in your backpack if you wanna take it to school and that's what I plan to do. Um, there's only like two pages left in the sketchbook because I use this for Mermaid and be aware there will be a video about Mermaid and how it ruined my drawing career, but um, I'm trying to get back into it, but we'll talk about that more in the other video. So next is something pretty plain. It's just my Apple earphones, earbuds, whatever you wanna call them, pretty basic. But next I have my Sakura Palmer LED and this is in 0.7 millimeters. It's just the normal HP LED and I mainly like to use mechanical pencils, so it's pretty good for that. Next, I have my Tarte Shape Tape, and it's one of my favorite things right now at the moment as far as makeup goes. I've been really trying to get back into makeup as when I was younger, I basically did blue eyeshadow and that was it, and that was when I was like five. But right now, I'm really obsessed with this. I use this instead of foundation all the time, mainly because it is so much more accessible and easy, and it doesn't make me look like I'm a pale pasty sister. Um, next, I have my Laura Mercier powder. Um, this is actually the mini size. I was going to get the larger size, but I just wanted to try it out first since there was some reviews that made it seem a little bit overhyped. 
but I actually really love it. Next is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is by far my favorite makeup product I own. It smells like chocolate, which is amazing. I know there's brands who try really hard to make something a certain food themed, and it never actually smells like the food. Like there's, I don't know, not an example, but Too Faced does it really well where they give you things that actually smell like the product. But we are getting close to the end of the video, so I'm going to try and wrap this up as fast as I can. This is my Jergens Natural Glow Moisturizer. It is really amazing, but the video is about to end, so I will see you all later. And keep watching for my next video that will come out in August. I love you guys, and see you later.